Hello kids, it's Nana party time and tonight I am reading Pete the Cat, Cave Cat Pete. Cave Cat Pete wakes up early. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. Today is going to be a great day, Pete thinks. But then Pete's bed starts to shake. His friend Vinny the Velociraptor is coming to visit. It's a perfect day for a picnic, says Vinny. What a great idea, says Pete. Who should we invite? Everyone, Vinny yells. Right on, says Pete. Pete loves picnics. He heads out to invite all of his friends. First, Pete finds his good friend, Ethel the Apatosaurus. To get her attention, Pete climbs all the way up the top of the tallest tree. Would you like to come to a picnic, Pete asks. I'd love to, says Ethel. What can I bring? How about a really big salad, Pete suggests. What a great idea, says Ethel. I'm on it. Pete wanders along the river. He sees T-Rex. T-Rex plays guitar. T-Rex is awesome. Hey, T-Rex, Pete yells. Want to come to a picnic? Sweet, says T-Rex. I can bring my guitar. Definitely, says Pete. We can jam. Count me in, says T-Rex. Okay, if I bring Al, the Allosaurus. He's a whiz on the drums. The more the merrier, says Pete. Pete sees his friend Terry the Tesora in the sky. Hi, Pete, she calls. Pete invites Terry to the picnic, too. Would you mind giving me a lift, Pete asks. Sure, says Terry. Climb aboard. Pete sees the spiked tail of his main man, Skip, the Stegosaurus. How are you feeling today, Skip? Pete asks. Skip has been sick with the sniffles. Better, Skip. Thanks for asking. You up for a picnic? I think so, says Skip. I'd hate to miss the fun, as he sniffles his nose. It's almost time for the picnic, Cave Cat Pete rushes through the forest. He doesn't want to be late. Whoops, Pete trips over, training the Triceratops. We're playing hide and seek, she says, before Pete can ask what she was doing. I think I hid a little too well. How long have you been there, asked Pete. Well, what's today, asked Trini. Well, all the dinosaurs are going to be at the picnic grounds. Want to come, Pete asked. What a great idea. Maybe somebody there will play hide and seek with me. It's time for the picnic. Vinny and Ethel are setting up the picnic tables. T-Rex and Al are wearing up to play some tunes. Terry and Trini are playing hide and seek. Even Skip seems to be enjoying himself. It doesn't get any better than this, Pete says. T-Rex comes over then. Hey, Pete, he asks. Is there anything else to eat? I'm a carnivore and I don't eat salad. Trini comes over. Terry is cheating on hide and seek. She's flying around and peeking. Skip comes over. I don't feel so good, he says. And he sneezes. ha The dinosaurs all start to argue. The picnic will be ruined if Pete doesn't do something. He leaned over to Al and he says, Can you give me a beat? Pete takes out his guitar and he starts to sing. Before long, everyone is having a great time. You know, T-Rex tells Ethel, I've never actually tried salad before. Try it, says Pete. I bet you will like it. T-Rex tastes the salad. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yum, says T-Rex. This salad is delicious. Everybody grabs a plate and digs in. 
Everyone decides to play hide and seek. Pete is happy that everyone is getting along. He feels lucky to have such great friends. It was the best picnic ever. Everyone agrees. It was the best picnic because you guys are the best friends ever, Pete says. And no one can argue with that. And that's the end of the story. If you like this story, please like the video. Make a comment that you like this story. And again, I would love to um, send you a book. I'll enter your name in a contest and I'll pick somebody and I'll, I'll send you any book that you want. Whether I send it to your Kindle as a gift card, just ask permission from mom, dad, your uncle, your grandma, whoever you live with, or even they can say that they like it and try to try to win a book. Anyways, good night, and I will try to up more upload more videos in the week. Okay, night.